morning everybody happy friday it is the 22nd of december me and kev have been in the supermarket since 7 a.m we thought we were going to be first in and it would be nice and quiet how wrong were we there was about 200 pickers doing all the online picking and every man and his dog it was absolutely packed um, it was, it, I know everyone had the same idea. I did say to Kev, I reckon the 22nd is probably the worst for the busyness on the Christmas food shop. So half the food is still currently in the boot of the car. Um, Kev's just washing up because we went out at 7 o'clock or just before 7 a.m. Left the teenagers, well everybody at home, came back. Honestly, the kitchen looked like a bomb had gone off. Reese had made scrambled eggs, Sienna had had every single craft material she owns out on the table. It was an absolute bomb site. So I said to Kev, don't even bother getting the shopping out of the car, um, leave it in the car, I'll drop Reese to work and then we'll sort it out when I get back. So Kev's just doing some washing up and I'm going to show you the clothing items I got first and then we'll go and get the shopping out of the car and then we'll go on with the food shop. So we've obviously been to Sainsbury's, we get a colleague discount of 20%. 20% is incredible. So that ran from the 20th up until the 24th. So I thought we only got it off of food. I didn't realize, oh, food and clothing and such. I didn't think we got it off of alcohol, but you do. I was absolutely shocked that you actually get a discount off of alcohol. All this time, how many years has Jamie been working at Sainsbury's? Two? Two years that Jamie's worked there, I was always convinced you didn't get discount off of alcohol, but you do. Um, so yeah, I've got a load of Christmas clothing, which the majority of this is for next year, but you can't not buy it when it's the prices that it is. So I'll start off this side. I've got some socks for Felicity. They're size four to five and a half, and they were reduced to one pound sixty-five. So those are gonna go away for next Christmas because she's only got a size two foot at the moment. Um, but by next Christmas, they should fit her. So some socks for Felicity. Tights for Sienna, aged seven to eight, reduced from £7.50 to £2.25. And then obviously I've got 20% discount on top of that. So I've got hers and tights for next Christmas. I've picked her up this really, really adorable skirt and she's asked if she can wear it today. And then obviously it can go away for next Christmas as well. I have got two huge bags for life full of Christmas clothing. And every single year I say, I'm gonna sell it. All the stuff they've outgrown, I'm gonna sell. And then before I know it, it's Christmas and I've missed the boat. So next Christmas, I'm gonna say it again, kind of sniggering, he's like, yeah, right. Next Christmas, like absolutely 100%, I'm gonna sell all of their old Christmas clothes. My, one of my, goals for January is to set up a vintage account and sell some of the children's outgrown clothes. I've got, not only have I got those two bags of Christmas clothes, I've got about the same again in Halloween clothes and Halloween dress up that's well outgrown. I've still got like Riley's dressing up stuff from when he was a toddler. It's all up in the attic so I don't see it all year round. I only see it when we get down to the seasonal stuff for that year. And underneath my bed, I've got another big bag for life of kids' clothes. Most of the stuff I donate, give to friends, but there is a few things like that I will put on Vinted, like some Ted Baker dresses, some like really nice pieces. And I have all these good intentions and then I never do it. But I am going to make it one of my New Year goals to set up a Vinted account. But yeah, I got her this skirt. How cute is that? Little uh, tutu skirt reduced from £13 to £3.90. The cutest pair of pyjamas I've ever seen in my life. I was like, oh my God, she's gonna go wild for these. Um, I got them in age seven to eight, so they'll probably fit her. They'll be massive on her this year, but she wants to wear them anyway. My plan was to put them away for next year, but she's like, I wanna wear them. Oh, they're so cute. Like little elf pyjamas, but that's not the cute bit. The cute bit is this. <gasps> Comes with a tutu skirt with loads of pom-poms inside it. And they were reduced from 11 pound to three pound 30. And I just think they are the most adorable pajamas. Um, so yeah, she's asking to wear them now and she wants to wear the skirt just as a, a daytime skirt. Um, and then I'm gonna wash them, pack them away with all the Christmas decoration. Every Christmas I pack away 
all of the Christmas clothing, all of the Christmas books, anything that's Christmas, I pack it away, all goes up in the attic to come back down next year. So all of this will get washed after Christmas and packed away. So those were adorable. Kev got himself a pair of Christmas pajamas, some Elf on the Shelf ones, and they were reduced from £18 to £5.40. So another pair of Christmassy pajamas for him. I got a lovely dress for Felicity and that was age 10. So that will fit her next Christmas. So I'm gonna put that away. I thought it was a bit more of a, like a grown up pattern. It looks pink on camera, but it is red. Um, but it's like, it's, yeah, it's a little bit more grown up because she's not really into the younger kids clothes anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was reduced from nine pound to two pound 70. So an absolute steal. And then I got them a t-shirt each, or a long sleeve top each, for next Christmas. Again, I got an age 10 for um, Felicity, and an age 7 for Sienna. And Sienna's was £1.50, and Felicity's was £1.65. Like, that is like the bargain of the century. So they've got a little Christmas, merry everything and happy always, um, long sleeve top. And then I got a pair of age 10 to 11 pajamas. This was the only size they had left. So they might still be a bit big on Felicity next year. She's eight this Christmas. So she'll be coming up to nine. She's very tall. So we tend to have to go an age up just because she's so tall. So they're age 10 to 11 and they were reduced from 12 pound to three pound 60. And then I got these for Sienna for next Christmas. But then I said, oh, these will actually fit Felicity this Christmas. So once I've showed these, she wants to put them on. Um, and these were reduced from £12 to £3.60, and they are super, super soft. Look at those, like little um, hot chocolates and stuff on She's them. She's not wearing them. She's not wearing them, she is. Sienna said, she can't wear them, she might pump in them. But I said, she can wear those because they're her she, age now. She pumps on my head at night. She pumps on her head at night. Oh my goodness me. Sienna's in her really cute pyjamas that I got reduced in Asda the other day, but she put them on in the dark last night after she went to the toilet and her, her trousers are inside out. I was like, you're a little bit inside out and back to front today, Sienna. Um, but I think I'm gonna let Felicity put those ones on now. So that was all the clothing items I got. I think I've got a couple other non-clothing, non-food things. Kev's just gone out the door. Gonna start bringing it in and then we'll show you everything else. I think we've got all bases covered apart from I need to pop to Asda for a couple of bits that I couldn't get in Sainsbury's and I couldn't get an Audi. We did pop to Audi. Oh, it's been a busy morning. It's currently quarter past 10. Like I said, we've been, we were in the supermarket by 7 a.m. I have showed you pyjamas. Do you want to change into them or are you going to save them for tonight? I'm going to change into them. You want to change into them, right? You take those then. And you want to show the log. And then she wants to show you guys her in her new elf pajamas. So Sienna, or should I say Mrs. Elf, turn around Sienna. Look how cute she looks. I gave them so them adorable. I'm saving them for next year. You're saving them for next year. She says they're a bit big. I have had to roll the sleeves up. But she looks so adorable. But I need to vlog this first. Chicken. That's Carlos chicken, chicken, which is her favourite thing in the world, and it was reduced to one pound fifty. Yes, you can eat it. All she'll do is grab a fork. Here you go, Sienna, have a fork. And she'll just eat it out the tub. There you go. So now she's sorted with her coronation chicken, which she is eating straight from the tub with a fork, not in a sandwich, just like just as it comes. Um, I've got my usual three milks, and now I'm thinking that actually might not be enough. I should have probably got four. We tend to go through. Sometimes we go through a whole one of these a day. Other times one will last us two days. So yeah, we've got three of those. If we're starting to look low, I'll grab some on Christmas Eve from the local shop. I've got three um, milkshakes. I can't say too much, but these are going to be used somewhere in the next couple of days. Okay. I've got some La Pack. Thank you to everyone that told me this was on Nectar Price. £3.75, however, you know, apparently that's a bargain. It's usually £7 for the big tub. Um, when I told Kev that it was £4.75 and that was on Nectar Price, he was like, what? Like, what on earth? That's ridiculous. Like, why can't we, you know, go back to our one pound tub? And I was like, well, butter is never a pound a tub anymore. Not even for the fake butter. Um, and we've all got the taste in for Lur Pack. So yeah, £4.75. Take off the 20%, not too bad, but still not what we were used to paying. A bit like the toilet roll sitch. I can't go back to the cheaper, cheaper stuff either. Um, I've got mints to make a spaghetti bolognese. 
burgers. We've got, we had one pack in the freezer, so Kev took them out this morning. So tonight's dinner, which is Friday, is Fake Away Five Guys. Tomorrow night's dinner, which is Saturday, is spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread. Sunday, Christmas Eve, we're having a Chinese. We always have a big family Chinese. We go to Christingle at the church, and then we come home, collect a massive Chinese, yummy. and yeah, have a great big yummy Chinese. So that's Christmas Eve, and then it's obviously Christmas Day and Boxing Day. So I only need to get those couple of meals. I was thinking, should I get the meals for the day after Boxing Day? But then I was thinking, I don't know how long I'll be eating Christmas leftovers for. So we're just gone for covering the next couple of days. I've got a block of ordinary cheese. I haven't got loads of cheese because we got quite a bit at the Dunster by Candlelight. So we've got three really nice blocks of cheese already in the fridge. So we've got an ordinary cheddar. I've got two baking blocks because I've got some baking to do. Some chorizo just because that's a usual thing we buy anyway. I did pick up the usual Happy Monkey milkshakes as well. That's the cheese slices to go in the Fake Away Five Guys this evening. I've got some tropical juice and orange juice. So orange juice I'm going to put away for Christmas morning and the tropical juice can be drank now. Um, cheese wise, can you hear Sienna in the background? Every time I say something, she's like, oh, yum, oh, yum. <laughs> Pardon, Sienna? Tropical, Tropical juice, you can have some of that in a minute. Um, cheeses that I did pick up, however, were a dippy cheese. You can't have Christmas without a dippy cheese. A Wednesday down cranberry, um, a roulade. Do you know, the um, borsin is so expensive at Christmas time. Um, so this is pretty much the same thing so I just picked up the cheaper one some blue cheese for my stepdad nobody in this house eats blue cheese and Kev said although this one was a little bit more expensive he said can we get this one that comes in the sealed packet so we can we can reseal it so we don't have to smell it um, so I've got some blue cheese for him I've got two breeze one to go on the cheese board one to go in paninis and some pate nobody in our house really eats pate but my mum does so I've got pate for my mum blue cheese for Brian and yeah all the other cheeses as well I've also got some of these little mini Christmas pork pies to put on the cheese board we're cheating with soup for starters so we're having soup melon or prawns as starter and we were going to make homemade soup but Kev was like do you know what our kitchen is going to be full of people full of cooking he's like let's just buy a tub of soup it really doesn't matter it's only for a starter you're only gonna have a tiny little bit so yeah we just went for a cream of tomato Sainsbury's soup most of us will have um most of us will have prawns it will just be a couple of the kids that will have the soup um I picked up some split pots just because you know we've still got a couple of days until Christmas so I've got some of those three days, three days yeah 12 eggs um I've got a few left from last week, so I'm hoping that should be enough eggs. The baking that I'm doing doesn't require eggs, so we should be okay. Um, this milk was from Aldi, um, some full fat milk, because I forgot to pick it up when I was in the milk aisle in Sainsbury's, and then I've remembered when I was in Aldi. I've got, we've got a what, sorry? A baby. A baby? Oh my goodness, don't start rumours like that. She's currently behind me holding up a watermelon and calling it a baby, guys. Don't be getting excited. There is no new no new babies for Christmas in this house. Um, please don't stand on that watermelon, though. It will crack. And as we opened the boot, we almost dropped it on the floor. And both me and Kev both stuck our foot out at the same time and literally caught it between our two feet. Um, otherwise, it was already going to have been smashed all over the blue and driveway. Um, turkey. Kev picked up one first that's fed 8 to 12, 9 to 12. And I was like, right, we're feeding 11 and that's going to include the legs and not everyone likes leg meat. So I put that one back, paid a little bit extra and got the one that feeds 13 to 17. He's worried it's not going to fit in the oven. I said, don't be silly. It will definitely fit in the oven. You should have to move the, the, um, the wire rack down. But this one was, it was not £24.34. It's on nectar price per kilogram. It came through on the doofa for £19 and some pence. And then we got 20% off of that. So we paid about £15 for this massive turkey, which I think is amazing. Just hope, obviously, I see every single year 
on Facebook, you will see some horror stories about gone off fresh turkeys. So hoping that's not gonna be us. And um, this is the first year in absolute donkey's years I've had to worry about buying meat within the food shop because Kev's always managed to get it from like a supplier um, in the past. But this year we didn't, so because he's been off work for a, a few days. So we didn't actually get our Christmas meat from a supplier. We've had to um, buy it from the supermarket. So it was the first time in a while I've had to think about it. I've got two gammons. These came through on the Dibber, Doofa, Scanny thing, whatever you want to call it. We call it a Doofa. Um, it came through at £4 something, weren't they, Kev? On the Nectar price, the gammons. £4.40. £4.40, something like that. So I got two of those. They're going to be going in the slow cooker with cider and orange and cinnamon sticks, if I can find some. And um, they didn't have any in Sainsbury's. I've got some puff pastry and some sausage meat, so we can make some homemade sausage rolls. I've got two packs of the thick cut bacon for anyone that wants a bacon and brie, cranberry panini for breakfast on Christmas Day. And streaky bacon to go over the turkey. So that is... There's not a lot there, but that is our fresh produce, and that is all we needed, because like I said, we've got some cheese already in the fridge, um, and we are just working up to Boxing Day at the moment. And then on to frozen stuff, and obviously I've been picking bits up. If you've been watching our um, vlogs, you'll have seen me picking bits up over the last couple of months, so we've got quite a bit already. So these were still on next price for £2, so I paid £1.60 a box. No, that's the moon. Um, £1.60 a box I paid for these. So I've got spring rolls, duck ones. I've already got one packet of those in the freezer. I've already got one packet of these in the freezer. So now we've got two. Um, green cranberry bites. I've got an Indian selection. They were £2.50. Vegetable spring rolls. And that's it. So I've already got three boxes of other bits in the freezer. So they'll just be cooked up on Boxing Day for like your Boxing Day buffet. We're not going absolutely to town because... It's only us guys on Boxing Day and most people are at work. Um, so it will just be like a Boxing Day buffet of, a, of the evening um, because Reese doesn't finish work till six. I'm not sure what hours Brooke's working. Jamie's away with the football. By the time he come, comes in, he'll be drunk and wanting to eat everything in sight, no doubt. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have a Boxing Day buffet in the evening. So I'm not going completely crazy. That noise is the dishwasher. Why is the dishwasher making that noise? Because I put fresh salt in, so we send it. Oh right, okay. That's making an awful noise. Cauliflower cheese. I'd usually make it from scratch, um, but these are one pound fifty in Sainsbury's at the moment on Nectar price. They're usually two pound seventy-five. Now I would never ever pay two pound seventy-five for some frozen vegetable, um, but one pound fifty just saves us a bit of time, doesn't it, on Christmas Day? Just bung them in the oven, especially as we're going to be a bit short on space with everything that's going to be going in the oven. We're going to be having, should I do a rundown? Turkey, gammon, roast potatoes, um, dauphinoise potatoes, cauliflower cheese, uh, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, no, parsnips. It, yeah, everyone's going to be pumping, aren't they, Sienna? <laughs> um, so we've got loads. And it's all got to get in the oven. So these being in nice little foil trays will not only save time, but also save on some space. I've got a big bag, I'm washing up, yeah. Big bag of chips for um, tonight's dinner to go with the burgers. I've got the prawns for starters. I've got some chicken steaks to make the kids a chicken wrap for lunch. And some garlic mushrooms as well. You can have a chicken wrap for lunch though if you like. Yeah. If you're still hungry after eating an entire tub of coronation chicken. Um, you haven't ate it all. Oh, you fill up on it. Garlic mushrooms as well. They'll be cooked up for the Boxing Day buffet. And obviously there'll be the cold meats, any leftover cheeses. We all know what a Boxing Day buffet looks like. Um, and then in Audi, I picked up these. They didn't have these in Sainsbury's. And I saw them and I thought, do you know what? Sienna will love those. Because we all know how much Sienna loves a pizza. Look, little mini pizzas for your Boxing Day buffet. They're adorable. You Have you ever seen an adorable pizza in your life? Can you grab that turkey? Can you grab that turkey? Yeah. Oh, is it too heavy? Ah, you almost lost the chopping board. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Right, so that's everything from Fresh and Frozen and, and another disaster averted. We nearly had a smash chopping board as well as a smash watermelon. Right, now onto the dry goods. I've got the usual two bottles of squash. I've got two loaves of toasty bread. Um, ideally, one of those could do going in the freezer, but Kev is currently <laughs> chopping off. Hang on, let me make sure I don't drop this. Slicing off the ends of the chocolate log. 
because he can't put it in the freezer drawer because <laughs> he's trying to put stuff in the utility room freezer. Um, now I've got chocolate fudge all over my fingers. What a shame. Um, I've got two packs of bread buns for tonight's burgers. Two packs of paninis, Aldi. Um, they have not got these in Sainsbury's. They always get rid of them in the winter to make room for the Christmas stock. Um, so they had to get got from Aldi. Four more packs of part bakes because I bought four the other day and we've eaten three. Um, so four more packs of those. Two little packs of scotch pancakes. Some wraps. Strong white bread flour, normal sugar and caster sugar. I need that for a recipe. Two things of sage and onion stuffing to make stuffing balls. That's another thing going on the big roast dinner. Um, spaghetti for the spag bowl. Some roast potato seasoning. I do have the fresh seasonings as well, but um, the kids don't like it. They've got bits of rosemary on their um, potatoes. So I'll just whack some of that on as well. I've got some pasta to make some tuna pasta. I've got some tuna as well. Um, again, just, um, oh, yummy. Just another lunch thing over the next couple of days. I've picked up these crackers because I really like these. Um, but I haven't got, you might notice there's no cheese crackers because I was going to buy them the other evening whilst I was in home bargains and my sister went, no, no, don't do that. Mum's got you a massive tub for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I thought, right, I won't buy any cheese crackers then because if I buy them and mum's already bought them, we'll end up with tons of them and they won't get eaten. Um, I've got a bag of segsations, um, chocolate orange segments because, you know, why not? Um, I've got gravy granules, uh, Dijon mustard, goose fat, chocolate spread, um, some little uh, pickled onions. Felicity actually really loves these. Some sliced gherkins because they'll go. No, I haven't got pickled eggs, babe. I know. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll see if I can find some. I've got one in my kitchen. Do you want the last one out of the, the jar? I don't know if it's any good, love. It's been in the back of the cupboard for quite some time. Um, some sliced gherkins for tonight's uh, burgers. My kids seem to love anything that's pickled. So summer, well, all of the girls will eat those gherkins out of the jar, given half the chance. Felicity loves the onions and Sienna loves the pickled egg. If you didn't already gather that from what she's chirping on behind me. Um, chopped tomatoes, four tins of tuna. They were in like a cardboard sleeve, but they've all fallen out. Honey, um, Kev likes his coffee and it was currently on Nectar Price. This um, takes a difference one. Down from £4.20 to £2.9p. Then you take £2.9? Then you take 20% off. Yes, yeah, so that was a good bargain on the coffee. I've got two bags of crisps that go over on the um, Christmas treat side. Two roasting tins as well as one of these big throwaway turkey tins. We've got one of those as well. I got some dog food, Christmas dog food for the dog. Two of these little tea light holders, mice ones. They're reduced to a pound. Some stickers, labels. You know I had a drama with my labels this year, forgetting them, having to buy them again. And then they were the ones that aren't that great. I love the sticker ones. And I hadn't even seen them in there until they were in the reduced bit. So I picked them up. They can go away for next Christmas. Toilet roll, um, toothpaste. Oh, I bought toothpaste in Home Bargains. And it wasn't until I opened it and went to brush my teeth for the last night, I realised that all the writing on it was in a different language. And it was the most, it was a Colgate in like one of the pump tubes. It was the most revolting toothpaste I've ever tasted in my life. I said to everyone, nobody use the toothpaste. It tastes awful. Um, so I just bought a new toothpaste that is definitely a British one um, from Sainsbury's. How lovely does this granola look? Lizzie's Granola Indulgent Sea Salted Fudge. Um, picked that up. It was £3 bag, but Brooke loves granola, and I really fancy some of that myself. So we've got some granola to go in the cupboard. Kev wanted a new garlic press. We usually just chop it by hand. He was like, look, let's just grab a garlic press. These smell amazing, and it was the last pack. They said 3 75 Scanned them, and they were like £1 something. I've got shampoo and conditioner. I've got a dog toy for Moon. Charlie wants it for himself, but he'll just tear it to shreds. Um, so that's Moon's Christmas present. And then from Aldi, so ice and sugar and some mini marshmallows. And there's also tin foil there as well. So that is all of the dry goods. Danny will watch this vlog. Probably. Danny will probably watch this vlog. Hopefully not. Hopefully she won't spoil the surprise for Moon. Right, then, then the fun stuff, all of the Christmas alcohol. So we've got a box of Doombar, a box of Cools. This is the most delicious Bucks Fizz. Now I've tried this one and I've tried 
an entire bottle last night of the Marks and Spencers one, which is also very nice, but not as nice as this Spice Blood Orange Passion Fruit and Berry Fizz. It is really, really yummy. And um, I've bought four more bottles of it because it doesn't go very far, does it, when you've got quite a lot of you um, that are drinking it, because my sister will be here. Obviously, there's me, there's Brooke. Summer will have a glass. So, yeah, it won't last very long. And it's £3.50 a bottle. Delicious. So, if you haven't already got your, your bubbles for Christmas Day and you like Buck's Fizz, definitely recommend that. Um, also, from Sainsbury's was some red wine, cider that's to go in so the nice cornish orchard cider that's going to go with my gammon three bottles of lemonade to go with the gin that we've already got there goes the dishwasher again and then this is from audi again don't run walk if you like baileys this is chocolate hazelnut and caramel and it is delicious I know it's delicious because we've already managed to drink a whole bottle. So we've also got the blondie flavour. I'm not keen on that. Brooke likes it, so she'll drink that. Um, I just like this chocolate one. So yeah, if you like Baileys, I'd recommend that as well. When I first bought the first bottle, it was £6.99. When I went back to buy another bottle, it'd gone up to £7.79. So they obviously know people are enjoying it, so they've whacked the price up. Um, alcohol went through on a separate receipt. I've still got all the fruit and veg to show you. But the alcohol, like I said, I didn't think you've got colleague discount. And I thought, I'll just swipe the card anyway um, and see if you do get discount. And lo and behold, you do. Um, so that was a nice little Merry Christmas. But this went through on a separate receipt. It didn't go through on my usual food shopping um, card. We put it through on a different account. So it came to, so before discount, it was £44.95. Then there was the two beer um, boxes, which were on a two for 22. So that took off 5 50 bringing it a total to pay to 39 45 Then it took off the colleague discount, bringing it down another £7.89. Then I used £7.50, which I had left of Nectar, so we paid £24.06 for all of that alcohol, which I think is blooming amazing. Um, what an absolute bargain. Although, actually, I don't think the lemonades, they were on my normal shopping, non-alcohol shopping bill. But, yeah, for all the alcohol, apart from, obviously, the Audi bit, the two boxes of beer, the Vax Fizz, the wine, the cider, 20 quid bargain. Um, so, yeah, I've still got the fruit and veg to get out. So last but not least, the fruit and veg. I've got a honeydew melon for um breakfast no not for breakfast for starter for sienna on christmas day and anyone else who wants it it's usually just sienna felicity usually has prawns um i've got some oranges obviously slice some of those to go in the bottom of the slow cooker with the gammon and you know one where does the other one need to go sienna where do we need to put an orange up the turkeys but. up the turkeys but <laughs> I've got some grapes for my cheese board. I've also got watermelon, which is almost, almost died, um, coming in from the car. And once it got in the car, and um, once it got in the house. Um, so yeah, watermelon, I'm going to slice that up as well on the cheese board. Um, in Spain, they always have watermelon with their salad. And I don't know why we don't do it in England, because it's lovely. So Kev went, oh, you'll be wanting sangria next. Um, I've got a cucumber to go sliced on the side of the prawns. I've got some um, extra special... Uh, Satsuma orange easy peeler thingies. Um, Aldi, I've got my strawberries. Don't know if they're going to last till um, Christmas. They say Boxing Day, but let's face it, as soon as strawberries go in your fridge, they go off or they get eaten. Um, someone said they put them in a the glass jar. I'll see if I can find one. I've got lemons for the side of the prawn cocktail, iceberg lettuce for the prawn cocktail, mushrooms, um, just needed them anyway to go in my spag bowl. Two Swedes, 19p. Sweet potato, we'll do some roasted sweet potato on Christmas Day. I've got onions, two bags of 19p carrots. I wish I had the time to buy loads of this veg and blanch it and freeze it. I don't have the time nor the freezer space. Um, but for anyone that does have the time and freezer space, what an absolute bargain to do that whilst all the veg. I mean, it's 19p in Sainsbury's, but I believe it's 15p in asda or tesco one of them brussels sprouts that's what's going to make everybody pump i've got a seasoning mix um a herb mix for roasting a white cabbage for making homemade coleslaw this evening and a red cabbage which will go with the red wine to make the braised red cabbage on the christmas dinner two seconds sienna i still need to get broccoli broccoli isn't 19p in sainsbury's it is however in morrison's and asda 
not sure about other supermarkets, might be another ones as well. Um, but we need to go to Asda to get squirty cream. Couldn't get any squirty cream in neither Sainsbury's or Aldi. So hoping I can get it in Asda. And there's something else which I've forgotten. Hopefully Kev can remember. I've then got five Sorry. bags. Cinnamon sticks, that's it. Five bags of potatoes because they are 15p a bag. Um, so we'll use two on Christmas Day. One for roast, one for dauphinois. Um, and then the other three, I'm taking them out of the plastic, putting them into something else, and they're going to go in the shed. Um, because potatoes are expensive when you go through as many as we do. Um, so yeah, they're going to go out of the plastic bags and into the shed. Again, if I had more space, I'd store more, but we just don't have the space. Oh, we've still got a whole bag under the sink from last week's shopping. So yeah, that is the fruit and veg. Oh, and garlic. We've got some garlic cloves and garlic bulbs as well. Um, I've only obviously got what we need for Christmas Day. And we've got some peppers left in the fridge. So they'll go in the spaghetti bolognese. And then that's it. We're up to Christmas. Here's the little receipt for Aldi. Aldi came to £18.07. And, and then the big long receipt for Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's came to £279.45. And then we got a massive £55.89 of colleague discount, which is just amazing. Bringing it down to £223.56p. So... I mean, I should have done the maths before I started filming this bit. But all together, 200 and... What did I just say? 223 plus another 23. So let's call it 250. It's not 250, it's £46.80. Oh my God, why are you so good at maths? Kev's amazing at maths. I am absolutely useless. I'm just going to round it up. 250 plus the 18 there. So I'm just under... Oh no, that's what I added on. That receipt is 220 something. Oh, you confuse me now, Kev. Okay. That one's 223. That one's 18 pounds seven. Oh, and then the alcohol one was. Where's it to? Where's it written to on there? 20... 24. So all together, just under 270 pound for the big Christmas food shop, which I think is pretty blooming good. I am super happy with that total because that also included all of those clothes. So before I even got to the food. Um, when I'd just done the clothing aisles, my basket total was on 50 something pounds. So if you take off, yeah, all of the clothing and stuff, you're looking at the Christmas food shop coming in at around 220, 225 pounds, including all the alcohol. So I am super chuffed with that. Obviously I've used up all of my nectar on all of the good stuff, all of the sweets and chocolate and crisps and all of that. So that's all being covered by nectar. What well, that big sandwich um, there, you're going to show me a sweet snack tray. Oh, we've got an entire shelf full of all of the nice yummy stuff at the moment. Um, the kids have actually been really sensible with it. We were like, it's not a free for all. It's there to last all of Christmas. And they've actually been really, really good with it. So we've got tons and tons we of food. Been snack that night. Yeah, we've just been having a few little snacky bits of an evening whilst we've been watching like a film. Me and Kev caught up with EastEnders last night whilst eating a tub of quality treats. Not a tub, a box. We didn't eat a whole tub, we just ate a box. Not all of them, no. I left the um, fudges in the yeah, county. No we didn't eat the coconuts. Brooke likes coconut ones though. Yeah, um, so yeah, she's weird. So yeah, that is the great big Christmas food shop, guys. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, I don't I think. You like the coconut ones, do you? Um, yeah, I hope you guys, you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm not sure Kev's enjoyed jengering it all into the cupboards and the fridge and the freezer. But it's done. That's one more job done. Just need to pop to Asda to get those couple of bits from there. And then by the end of today, by the end of this evening, I want to be at that point where I can say it's all done. We can sit back and enjoy Christmas. And Charlie got a new flashy ball. Oh yeah, ball. Charlie got a new flashy ball. He's already had that though. That was like two quid. Um, and he loves it. And it squeaks. It flashes and squeaks. I mean, what more could a dog want? He definitely can't have anything like this though. This because triple he chocolate will... fudge cake didn't fit in the freezer, so oh, we have to eat that today. have to eat that today. What a damn yeah, shame. Yeah. Um, no, you mustn't because Charlie will get hold of I it and chew it up. Whoa. And it's for Moon. We've got to wrap it up for Moon. Thank you. He's going to watch his... You're going to wind him I'm up with it. That's really mean. Charlie. I'm going to try and show it. Tr trick Charlie. <laughs> right. Big breath. Deep breath. It's done. It's over. I think I'm going to have a coffee and sit down for five minutes. Yeah, I think so. Before we 
work out write a little list of what we need from Asda. I'm not looking forward to Asda. I'm, I'm not looking forward to Asda. Asda is always the worst supermarket. Well, I need to go. I need to go and pick some. Summer's asked me to pick or something. Yeah, someone needs something picked up. Anyway, we're just gathering now. Thanks Charlie's for watching the great jealous. big Christmas food shop. Charlie's jealous. Charlie's jealous, and we will see you all tomorrow.